What's up everybody, it's Nathan Ng from Pro Guides and we're here to give you another great video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the 0.49 changes to Valorant and give you our thoughts on those changes. But before we get into this video, we'll bring you our question of the day. What would you like to see added or removed to Valorant and why? Let us know down in the comments down below and as always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. In today's video, we're gonna to touch on some major changes of patch 0.49 and share our opinion on how these things will impact the game. So please sit back and enjoy the video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and ring that notification bell for more Valorant content coming your way. Let's get started. Key changes. One of the most notable changes is a slight Omen rework. Omen's ultimate ability from the shadows and shrouded step have been reworked so that he is no longer invincible during his teleport. Now if you were to find Omen during his ultimate or his other teleport ability, you'll be able to kill him right away without waiting for him to leave his shadow form. However, to account for this debuff that Omen's ultimate has received, they have decreased the distance taken at co-locate or hair Omen's teleport position. With this change, we expect a lot more Omen players to die uselessly with his ultimate giving the impression that he is no longer good, but we expect him to stay in the same place that he was before which was pretty low on the tier list. Moving to Haven, we have seen the changes to double garage doors. The stage wall boost behind the double doors can see a small gap that can be defeated by curtains. No more can players kill you from that very annoying spot that was becoming a go-to spot for Sage players. We think that this will affect the gameplay more significantly than people think because now the connector will be harder to hold with one more angle being removed. The removal of this angle stops the defending from getting a kill, but the defensive angle makes it a little bit harder to hold. No longer seeing this enemy through this angle forces you to use audio cues to depict whether or not the enemy is pushing into double doors. This can also force the defending side, if greedy enough for a pick, to peek like a madman and get you the same kill that you used to from complete safety. We also have the addition of a new game cheat for custom games, called Observer Mode. With the addition of Observer Mode, you'll be able to move around the map in Ghost Like No Clip Mode. This is just gearing us up for the esports scene and we cannot wait to see the impact that this will have on the viewership on Valorant Esports. This addition will also be great for editors and anyone who has creative use for this mode. Maybe even teams can use this new observer mode to their advantage to find some new tricks that would be hard to figure out without being able to explore the map's geometry. Here comes the most exciting news of all. Valorant competitive mode slash ranked is coming in this patch. Now, we didn't add any more information about ranked mode, but we did say that in patch 0.49, competitive matchmaking will go live in the near future and after the patch releases. It's exciting to know that Valorant ranked is coming so quickly and we cannot wait to see you all in game climbing the ranks. For more information on the rank, check out our video everything we know about ranked. Visual changes. Our first visual changes start with some small adjustments to Omen and Breach's appearance, however. We only know that Omen's visual change, which is three light stripes down the center of his mask. For those wondering, we don't think that this will have any impact on the game whatsoever except for the fact that I am going to probably try picking up Omen because I think he'll, he looks way cooler now. <laughs> they also fixed a visual bug that would show above a teammate's head that they had their ultimate on after getting one charge. It will now properly display the correct information above your teammates. This will make for less time lost because you won't have to ask when your teammate has his or her ultimate. They also added a very cool feature which will indicate above your teammate's head if they are speaking in voice chat. This will also save time and make the game feel more immersive because you can visualize the voice comms as well as hear them. They also have changed the color of multiple different visuals in the game. One being when a teammate is holding a spike as well as when you are low on ammo and low on health. These will also pop up more as the colors have been changed to be a more vibrant palette. Helping alert the players to these things will help the awareness in situations where one may tunnel vision. This is a critical change and will help out every player from Valorant to Iron. On the minimap, they have removed the portrait of the agent you are playing to show better where your teammates are positioned. This will receive an additional color and texture later down the line to fit more with the rest of the hood. We expect to see this one to be one of the best changes coming before Rated is released. This helps with matchmaking games and understanding what your team is doing as you will not always have the teammates that communicate actively. Map changes. Map changes include geometry on both Bind and Haven will now match the other textures in the map correctly, including changes across all three maps in the geometry to fix multiple exploits and bug spots, including the change color of Radiantite crates in order to unify overall visuals, which is just a very small extra visual change. These changes, while not providing any competitive changes to the game, just make it that it's all just better to look at. Quality of life changes. Have you ever been stuck in a custom game lobby and the only way to actually leave the match was to exit the game? Even exiting the game wasn't a viable option because it would just throw you right back into it once you log back on. They have finally added the leaf match option in custom lobbies which makes me breathe a huge sigh of relief. Have you ever had a leaver, someone on your team that just left the match because they just can't seem to get a kill or they're unhappy with their teammates? These players will now be punished for their actions of leaving games willingly. 
Every time you have a player on your team that leaves the game, they will receive a match penalty of not allowing them to queue for a short period of time. Very surprising to me that this wasn't in the game already, but you know, it is what it is. If these players continue to leave the matches and ruin the game's enjoyment for others, they will receive longer ban times from matchmaking. Valorant devs are taking a huge step in the right direction on this one. Not only is this beneficial to players who have to suffer 4v5s, but to the community to stop it happening on more occasions. Sometimes you might hear someone right beside you, yet they are through a few walls. This issue has been fixed, making it more obvious to distinguish the distance of the enemy properly. For example, as stated in the patch modes, Haven B and A short making it so they don't sound like they're right next to you. We hope that this is the answer to the problem that we have no doubt all have plagued us at least once. The first bug fix was directed at Phoenix's run it back ability. This is where Phoenix is being shot and run it back, and once his form is killed, he takes additional damage outside of the ultimate. This change slash fix is going to ensure that you are put on an even playing field outside and not at a disadvantage after your ultimate. Viper now no longer has the ability to animation cancel her ultimate ability, Viper's Pit. This allowed her to ult and then pull her gun out, removing the wait time for Viper's Pit to actually be used. Removing all chances of her being able to do an early pick off her ultimate and allows her to be shut down a little bit easier. This is going to allow Viper's ultimate ability to be a little more on the fair side instead of giving her an advantage that she already has. We think that this will not affect Viper's win rate, but we also know that a few more players might be caught in the animation than before. They have also fixed the issue where player models would skip when walking next to each other. In this patch, they have smoothed it out so that it no longer creates a choppy clipping feeling. This fix is great for the game because when it's pushing onto the site and your team would sometimes shake your screen, therefore distorting the vision and messing around with the aim mechanics. This change will now allow you to have proper aim and less negative teammate interaction. The Bucky shotgun now has been changed to a hit scan weapon. The reason behind this, as stated in the patch notes, is that players can kill the other players moments after death. This is the result of it being a projectile weapon with the shells moving at a slower pace than hit scan shots. Making the Bucky a hit scan in general makes the gun more viable. With the Bucky becoming hit scan, it allows for easy aim adjustments to be more precise on where the enemies are hitting. On top of that, with the low price of $900, we will think that the Bucky popping off will be a little bit more in your games due to this change. The patch note has also received our minor yet highly distracting flashing connection error popping on the top right corner of the screen. Because I know there have been a few moments during playing the game I would glance up at the connection error notification and end up dying because of the unfortunate timing that this has caused. Thank you, Riot. Some people have noticed that once attempting to plant the bomb that you happened to cancel the animation and pull the gun out was slowed. This being a problem with the animation, while still being able to shoot the gun before your gun was fully out. This issue has been resolved and the animation was corrected. This animation bug made people believe that their gun wasn't missing out on the potential of either getting a kill or getting damage that could have changed the round to their advantage. Before the video ends, we want to take a second to remind you that if you want to be the best and learn from the best, head over to ProGuys.com to experience an online coaching experience, especially right before the new ranked matches come out. We will be adding Valorant coaching this week. We are very excited for this patch and for more updates in the future. With competitive play coming to Valorant, the dev team has listened closely to our concerns and we can't wait for future of Valorant. As for this patch, it's a great move in the right direction for balances across the playing field and gives the community confidence in every new release. Whether that be a map or a new agent, we are all confident that Riot will embody the word quality. There is so much detail and care taken with every introduction and change that we are glad to have Riot leading the charge in Valorant. Ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up today's video and thank you all for watching the entire way through. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more tips, tricks, and guides. Let us know in the comments what video you'd like to see next. Stay safe and stay healthy and have a wonderful day.